Wake up with Matt in the morning. All right, it's been a little bit more than just a day or two. Um, it's been about a week now. These things have been sitting here. And as you can see below, I've got all three poured out because I want to be able to show you the consistency of them. And I got them on some wings because I'm hungry and I want to eat them. So here's what I figured out. First of all, let's start with the one in the middle, the Campfire Chipotle. This was the one that I was worried about, worried about how thick it was going to be. Well, I don't know if you can tell from there. Let's look at this. Um, it actually came out thinner than I thought it was. Now, the only thing I would do different, and this is just a personal preference, is I would take the seeds out next time. And it's not for a heat thing or anything like that, it's just for texture of it. And like I mentioned before, I don't have a strainer, so hey, whatever strainer they called for. So who knows what would have happened if I could have strained those out, might have a different final product. But this one's good. It's got that nice chipotle flavor. I mean, it tastes like your tastes like hot sauce by a, a campfire. Hence, chipotle, campfire chipotle. It's good. The heat level. I don't really like to talk about heat level because everybody's different. Some people don't like pepper, right? Oh, it's too spicy. It's pepper. What? Um, for me, on a scale of one to ten, I'd put this about a six. Um, really good. It's gonna. It's really good on wings. Um, this would be good. Yeah, this would be good on a burrito too. Shredded chicken. Anyways, the only thing I would do different would be take the seeds out. Just personal preference. It's got a great color, great taste to it. You really pick up that chipotle. And I wouldn't put any more chipotle, or it probably would be a little overpowering for me. But with taking the seeds out, maybe that would take it down a notch too. It's my first time making this, so who knows. We'll switch it up a little bit next time we do them. Now, but a really good go-to. Uh, the next one is the curry pineapple. This one, good consistency. This one is, you know, as you can tell, it's a, just like the Chipotle, Campfire Chipotle, it's a thicker one. Um, this almost has a little bit too much curry for me. If you're a fan of curry, you're gonna love it. Um, the curry, the amount I put in, it stands out to me a little bit more than I'd like. Then it's not, for me, it's also not a go-to of like, oh, oh, we're making 36 wings. I'm doing all curry pineapple. But it's a really good because you pick up that sweetness of the pineapple because there's enough of that in there. It's just a little too much on the curry side. But it would still be good for, you know, you have a big old batch of wings. Maybe you have a wing bar where you got five or six different sauces out. This would be one that, you know, I would throw out there. I'd eat one or two of them. i am eat all four that are sitting there. But... Consistency is good, and it's just fun. It's nice to switch it up sometimes. We love wings around here, so we'll we'll end up eating this. Now, the first one, Louisiana sauce. This one is just like your typical, you know, buffalo sauce. I really like the flavor. However, you can see how liquidy that is. It wasn't as thick as I would kind of like. I mean, I don't mind hot sauce that's that, that's that runny but really good heat to it oh the curry pineapple i'd put it like a three on the heat side two and a half maybe maybe two and a half two probably two the louisiana i'd put up there at about a four or five um, i would add next time doing the louisiana sauce i'm gonna do some adjustments to thicken it up and to spice it up that's just me i like spicy all in all, though, a good flavor, just a little too liquidy for me. Again, that's just my opinion. You might like that and think, oh, it's just fine with me. So, all in all, I will say I am very happy with all three. All three I would make adjustments to, but I knew that was going to happen. It's my first time making them. So, yeah. Anyways, we have three more in this kit to do. Um, we'll do that like another day, another time. Uh, that'll be it for this video. So that'll be just hot sauce part part two. Part two. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. Uh, my buddy Sean here, once, once this quarantine stuff is up and we can actually see people, 
I'm going to get my buddy Sean's opinion on all three of these. Also, coming up at a sometime when I get around to it, I have this pack that has like, I don't know, 12 or 15 different hot sauces from mild all the way up to what they say is hot. I'm hoping to get Sean and my wife's cousin Chad, cousin-in-law, is that a term? Do we say cousin-in-law? Anyways, I'm going to see if I can get Chad on here, kind of have a panel of all three of us going through this kit of sauces to see what we think. And then I'll have all these three a little bit left over, get Chad's opinion as well. Side note with Chad, he, I don't know how much he likes hot sauce, but he's not scared to try super hot. W listen, I'll talk about it when he's on here. I'll let him talk about it, but let's just say there's, there was a video with certain things bubbling that shouldn't have been bubbling. We'll just leave it at that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. I'm gonna enjoy the eating these wings now. Again, all three were good. Uh, you know, yeah, just a little bit of adjustments here or there. Hey, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe, like it, share it, all that good stuff. See you next week.